and welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to show you how to make my dad's sherry trifle. show you my dad's sherry trifle recipe but before I do if you are new to my channel then hello and welcome it's lovely to have you here and if you like these kind of videos and you want to see more then I normally upload every Tuesday Thursday and Saturday at 7 a.m. but I'm just coming to the end of vlogmas so I've uploaded a video every day for 31 days Woohoo! so Yes, if you like these kind of videos and you want to see more, then please don't forget to hit that subscribe button below. As I just mentioned, today I want to show you my dad's sherry trifle recipe. This recipe is really simple and easy to do. And traditionally in this house, we have it on Boxing Day. And I know this video has gone up after Boxing Day, but I thought it would make a great New Year's Eve dessert. Um, I've served this at a summer party before and it's served a lot of people so I thought it would be good at a New Year's Eve party. I have written this recipe on my blog Googie's Kitchen Life which I will link in the description box below for you and it's also in my new book Gifts from Grandpa which is available on Amazon and I will link this in the description box below for you too but for now here is how to make my dad's sherry trifle recipe. So the first thing I'm going to do is layer the bottom of this glass bowl with almond biscotti um, I've made these almond biscotti myself and I will link that recipe in the description box below for you. Um, my dad used to use sponge fingers so if you want to buy a packet of sponge fingers you can get them in most supermarkets so you're more than welcome to use sponge fingers. I use these because I'm um, allergic to gluten so I've got slight gluten intolerance so these are gluten free and dairy free as well. So I'm just going to layer the bottom here, I think that's going to be enough. And then next I'm going to put about four tablespoons of sherry over these. I don't know, yeah I'm just going to drizzle that on. You don't have to use the sherry, it's entirely up to you. Um, and then next I've got 250 grams of frozen berries. So I'm going to put those on the top as well. I've, I've taken these out of the packet and let them defrost for a little bit. You don't have to do that. I just thought it would make it a bit easier, that's all. If you want to put them on frozen, that's fine. So I'm just going to lay those on the top. So these are summer fruit mix berries that I got in a bag from the supermarket in the frozen section. And then finally, I'm going to put my jelly on. And for my jelly, I've used gelatine strips, and I've done it as per the packet instructions. But it does say on the back to use water, but I've actually used apple juice instead of water. And I soaked the gelatine strips for about five minutes, and then I put them on a low heat and stirred them until all the jelly dissolved. I just did it as the packet said told me to do. So, so yeah, I'm just going to pour this on now. And that covers that really nicely. And then I'm going to put this in the fridge overnight now. Make the custard now. And I'm just heating some coconut milk in a pan. So this is the full fat coconut milk. And I would recommend that you make, uh, that you use full fat milk because it just makes it thicker and creamier. But you can use skimmed or semi-skimmed if you want. And I'm just heating this up and then I'm going to add the other ingredients. So the milk is now warm and I've got two egg yolks in a bowl. I'm just going to add some sugar to those. Now this is coconut sugar that I've ground up in my Nutribullet earlier. It's just to make it finer and more powder-like, but you, you can use brown sugar as well if you haven't got coconut. So I'm going to mix those round. Just going to remove that from the heat for a second. And then I'm going to add 
corn flour as well. This is to try and thicken it a bit. Just gonna add that in as well, and I'm gonna mix these all round until it makes like it forms a paste like that. I'm gonna turn the heat down a bit on that. And then I'm just gonna add this in now. So the custard has started to thicken, so I'm just going to add a little bit of vanilla powder. I think that's about an eighth of a teaspoon in there. You don't need much of vanilla powder. And you can buy that online. You can buy it from Amazon and places. So I'm just going to add that in. And the custard has now started to thicken. So I'll probably leave it, take it off the heat and leave it to cool for a little while in a minute. So I think that's as thick as I'm going to get it. And I'm just going to leave it to cool now on the side for a little while before I pour it on the chocolate. I'm just going to add the custard that I've just made and left to cool. Yay! And I'm now going to put this back in the fridge overnight again for us to eat on Boxing Day. This is the trifle. Um, I've left it in the fridge overnight and now all I'm going to do is just add some dark chocolate to the top. This is optional, you don't have to do this. I just like to because it makes it look quite pretty. So I'm just going to add this dark chocolate to the top now. And that's the trifle done. I shall go and try a piece now. I'll try a piece of this trifle. So I'm just going to cut it out of here. I'm just going to try a little bit of it. Trifle is generally quite messy when it comes out anyway. Mmm. Let me just try a bit. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. That, my friends, is very good. Delicious. Thumbs up. So that's how to make my dad's delicious sherry trifle. I'm off to enjoy this nice portion now. Um, again, I will link this recipe in the description box below for you. And I will also link my new recipe book, Gifts from Grandpa, as well. So that's it from me. Thank you so much for watching. Please feel free to give me a big thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. And please feel free to leave any comments below. Do you eat sherry trifle of Christmas? And what do you like to put in your trifle? I'd love to know. And please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. See you all soon. Bye. Should all acquaintance be? Forgot and all, all lang syne.